Let's talk about uh, fracking a little bit. You mentioned that in one of your articles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a way of obtaining fossil fuels from rock. Uh -huh. What's the concern with that procedure? <laughs> More dirty business okay. and real dirty business. And I know about this. You know what? After graduate school, I actually worked for Standard Oil of Indiana, okay. oil industry. And my job description was as if they were concerned about the environment. Ha, ha, ha. Right. But anyway, Standard Oil of Indiana, south side of Chicago in Whiting, uh, the people were very nice. I mean, the colleagues over there, absolutely magnificent, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, um, when they saw the need to find better ways to uh, recover natural gas from the ground. Uh, it's actually locked in in some uh, mm -hmm. structures under, underground. And when they pump in some water and some other mixture, it f fractures that. That's what the fracking is called about, mm -hmm. right? And it releases the gas, and the gas comes out, and they collect it. It's relatively cheap the way they do it right now. But the point here is, and that's a real very important point, water and finely ground sand will do the trick. Now suddenly somebody comes up and they dump toxic chemicals into that mix to the hilt. Oh well it goes deep under the ground and it's not into your groundwater. I mean this is just ridiculous. I mean there's zillions of tons of these poisons that they're dumping in there. In my opinion, that's just a typical, it's a way to dump toxic chemicals mm -hmm. for which they would have to pay dearly if they would pay for it for companies to dispose mm -hmm. of these chemicals, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's all money, money, money. Money and dirty business, mm -hmm. right? I mean, somebody asked if aliens invaded your planet, they would poison your groundwater, they would cut down your tree, they'd change the climate, right, and so on. Would you resist? Mm -hmm. Right? Naturally, but when our own government and our own people are doing that, you know, the result is when it comes up to a vote like what they did with, uh, you know, 37 mm -hmm. and whatever in California, and then you get outweighed with money. Like the uh, pro proposition 37, I believe, had $2 million, and the uh, opposition spent $44 million with total lying. Like, scientists and professors and doctors see nothing wrong with genetically modified food. Pardon me, I'm a scientist, I'm a professor of chemistry, and I know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. My undergraduate work was at the University of Munich, School of Physi uh, at the Medical School of Physiology under Nobel Laureate Butinon. I got my PhD from Stony Brook, which is now recognized as one of the top universities in the medical science, professor of chemistry, aging research, etc. And don't <clears throat> you include me in that classification that we see nothing wrong with this garbage. Mm -hmm. When you talk about fracking, we, we live in a state that mm -hmm. that's become very popular mm -hmm. now, in, in, uh, at least in the, the farmland area, and there's mm -hmm. been reports now of, of livestock dying and a mm -hmm. lot of animals. Is that from the groundwater? Is it from other things well, that are up in the air, the exposure to? They are telling you that they're injected so deep that mm -hmm. it will never come out, but it does come out. You turn on the water and you can light up the water, right? I mean, the gas is right in there. The toxic chemicals that come up, oh, just by accident, only in this case. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much baloney are we supposed to take, mm -hmm. you know? And cattle, after, and cattle get sick, cattle get sterile, and so on, and diseases, and you find all this garbage. It's, it's not, I mean, it, it's about worse than in California after World War II dumping DDT in the ocean. We we're still suffering from this crap, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it gets to the point where then, uh, for example, pregnant women in some areas where they dump these toxic chemicals after World War II, uh, women are not, uh, so, you know, they tell women, pregnant women not to eat it, mm -hmm. right? Because there's too many toxins in there, right? Mm -hmm. And when you follow up on it, you can do an adipose tissue analysis on people living in specific areas. And you will be able to demonstrate the presence of those toxic chemicals in their bodies. Mm -hmm. And we know that those chemicals are endocrine disruptors, besides being extremely toxic. Right? Mm -hmm. And it goes into other areas. Look, for example, in the ocean's mercury. Mm -hmm. I mean, go to the Bible. I mean, what is the most basic 
media to feed the people. It's the oceans with the mm -hmm. fish. It's the best food, the best everything. And here they are dumping it with our so-called clean coal. In the U.S. alone, we are dumping 50 tons, not 50 pounds, 50 tons, thousands of pounds of mercury into the environment, into the ocean. Okay, and here comes a big joke. We like to buy cheap products made in China. Well, guess what we're doing? We are sending raw coal to China. They burn it raw as it is, without cleaning it. And then, therefore, they can have cheap labor, cheap products, mm -hmm. energy. <clears throat> and that's what we're getting their benefit. I mean, we're paying for this nonsense. Mm. No? Mm. Washington needs a wake-up call from the scientists. Now, it's happening. I mean, I see it in many different areas. I mean, not only in this field, like, for example, in, in the preventive medicine field. I am connected to lots of researchers all around the world. Mm -hmm. And especially with the heart recovery that we discussed yep. in a previous interview, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we got lots of attention. I'm in a medical textbook and so on and so on. And a total heart recovery from AFib irregularities, totally out of balance, left atrium enlarged, totally back to normal within a few months. So I know people all around the world. I mean, I gave talks in Bangkok, in, in, in Mexico City, in Germany, and invited to speak in, uh, uh, in Germany, in, in Russia, in China, and so on and so on. You know, and I'm connected to the scientists there. Mm -hmm. And the scientists are very much in agreement that we need to do something about it. But our governments are so influenced by the special interests. Right here in the U.S., I mean, we are voting in the members of the House, and it's like legalized bribes what they're doing. I mean, we, there was a summary that some people in the House had nine million dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not supposed to use that for your own thing. Oh no, you can use it to pay off everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. And so on. I mean, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Our healthcare system is so inferior. I mean, a very simple health practices numbers could reduce the cost by almost a half. And that's $1.5 trillion.